Hey guys, Rolando Rodriguez here with xgains.com. We've got workouts that work, eats that satisfy, and everything else you need to reach your lifestyle goals. So today I'm making a video concerning my week one uh, 2018 keto kickoff update, really, just how this week went. Uh, started ketogenic diet last Monday and what I did the first day was I trained fasted in the afternoon with my kids and did some sprints some ab work fasted from dinner Sunday night until dinner Monday night and I had a Caesar salad uh, with three to four pieces of chicken breast I think and an avocado in there then I had Shakeology and that was my meal for the first day Tuesday did not do a 24-hour fast I ate lunch uh, around 3 o'clock and then I had my chicken broth, and then I had my dinner when I got home. Now, if you guys want to follow me in terms of what I'm eating on a regular basis, come my friend on Fitness Pal. I'll have the link down below. Then you can just follow what I'm eating while I'm doing this. Because when I'm following any type of diet, be it ketogenic or not, when I'm trying to lose weight, I actually track what I'm eating. Everything works until it doesn't, and when it doesn't, you gotta know what's not working. And that's why I always make sure to write down and document what I'm eating. I've always used my fitness pal since the beginning of this weight loss journey almost six years ago now, uh, and I continue to use my fitness pal as a way to track and keep myself accountable. And I can also use that to follow my macros intake, right? Because it breaks it down. Not only can I see my macros on a daily basis, Basis and my calories on a daily basis, but on a weekly basis. And me being a calorie cycling type of dude, that's huge. Now this time around getting into ketosis on day four, my wife started to tell me that I started to smell like ketosis. Uh, also, I noticed it in my workout routine that on day four, I felt pretty bad. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I finished the workout, but I wasn't hitting my normal numbers. And if I was, I was just exhausted. Day four of the workouts. And this workout today, the challenge P90X3 and shift shop. String 25. It killed me. But in two days, I'll be back. It's a regular energy, right? My calories, up my salt intake a little bit more than I had been, which I do anyways when starting a ketogenic diet, up the water intake on day five, and day six, and day seven, I felt normal. So yes, I had a noticeable dip in my energy level when it came to working out on day four, but by day five, I was back to normal, and actually now I feel great i feel like it, it there's no issue at all uh, as a matter of fact yesterday's workout i felt phenomenal in terms of strength and power and energy during the workout totally back to normal i will say that this time around kept the salt and water intake high had the dark leafy greens on a regular basis and i did not feel the quote-unquote keto flu or the carbs withdrawal during the day during my fourth workout of the week going into ketosis i did feel and notice and energy decrease during the workout and a power output, but in terms of my regular life, wasn't the case. Now, I have noticed this week when I'm getting into ketosis that I've been dreaming a lot more than I have been over the last month. Don't know what that's about. And overall weight loss for week one, I lost four pounds. At one point, I was actually down six pounds, but I think that just had to do with a lot of the water. And these four pounds might have to do with a bunch of water weight to begin with. But four pounds week one, eating about 1800 calories a day not a bad start one huge thing we'll talk about later in terms of cravings don't really got them i've noticed that if one is following a low carb high fat diet and also cutting they're not going to have as many cravings as if they were following a typical diet eating approach where one lowers their carb intake is they're lowering calories and also lowers their fat intake is they're lowering calories. That's something for you guys to think about. If the cravings are killing you in terms of sticking to your diet, maybe it's time you start looking for a new diet to see one that will actually help prevent those cravings. Low carb, high fat might be the way to go. For now though, this is Rolando Rodriguez with xgains.com. Please let me know if you got any questions or comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and share to this channel. If you haven't done so already, I'd greatly appreciate it. The website again is x dash. That's the symbol, not the word, gains.com, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.